Good morning, Michelle here. Uh, didn't do any videos last week. We had a house guest, my um, husband's aunt, who celebrated her 91st birthday with us, came to visit for, the, uh, for two weeks, but we had her for one. And we went everywhere. I hope at 91 I am that with it and that active, but I had to do quickie workouts in the morning because I had to get the boys going and then get uh, on with whatever activity we were going to do for the day and all the sightseeing that we did. So I am here with a new workout today. It is called Bring On The Sweat. I am ready to sweat. Um, it's going to be four exercises and we're going to do three rounds, 10 seconds on, or 10 second rest, 30 second work. In between, after we do each one, we're going to do a, a um, 10 repetition exercise it's a, they're all going to be a compound move so um, it'll be 10 repetitions then we'll go into the four parts and then another 10 repetition workout exercise and then four parts so they're all going to be different my breakdown will be below the video so uh, mycrazyworkout.com uh, the site is down right now I'm, I'm doing some work on it but it's on the YouTube video so I'll have the whole breakdown on there for you let's get started the timer will be a stopwatch first and then we will be going to the 10 second break 30 second work 12 rounds so four exercises three times through got to keep the book next to me so i know what i'm doing first one is going to be a clean and press travel frog hop so we are going to do a clean and press and when we do the frog hop we're going to put the bag in front of us and we are going to hop our feet forward, so we're going to travel uh, doing the clean and press. So I might hop to you and I might have to hop back. So if you can keep going, you keep going, but I might have to, I'm pro I know I'm going to have to turn and come back. So let's get started. Ten of these. Clean and press. Throw it in front and hop your feet. Here's three. Here's four. Five. I'm going to turn here. Six. I'm going to have my back to you. Seven. Looks like this, 10 and 30, 12 rounds. We've got an alternate reverse lunge with a shoulder press, an alternate plank T-raise push-up, and reverse side lunge, or I'm sorry, a right side lunge with a knee, with a knee lift as you twist over, and then a left side lunge. So I need the sandbag. If you don't have a sandbag, you can use a kettlebell, okay? I'm going to show you from the side. 10 second break, when it beeps again, we're starting. Alternate reverse lunge with a shoulder press. Bag is up. T-raise, push-up. 
push up, raise, push up, make sure when you do your push ups, your back is flat, don't let it sink, core is tight, and when you do those side raises, again, make sure your waist is not drooping to the floor. Okay, side lunge, right sides first. We're gonna lunge out, tap the ball, up and swing. Two, three, four, Now the left side. If you don't have a ball, you can use a kettlebell, a dumbbell. I'll show you on the next round. When you lunge out, make sure you sit that butt back. Keep that knee lined up with the ankle behind the toe. and use the 20 pound kettlebell. T 
raise, push up. Back is flat, abs are tight. One. Two. Three. Four. that kettlebell again. It's heavier than my 10 pound bow. Push yourself if you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, side is next. This is three rounds. You should be breathing hard. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Woo! Okay. Catch your breath, get a drink if you need to. The next one is our ten repetition before we move into the next four part. If you've been following me, you know it. Egg drop, jump lunge combo. Let me get set up here. If you want it on a stopwatch, the clean and press travel frogs that we did, we did it in a minute and seven seconds. Okay, if you have been following me, egg drop, jump lunge combo is hold the ball or a weight or whatever you have. Broad jump forward, hold it up and do six jump lunges. Then you're gonna hold it there and you're gonna do a drop squat. You're gonna drop the weight and you're gonna squat real low and catch it. You're gonna put it on the ground, you're gonna hop over it and you're gonna do three pulse lunges, or three pulse squats. Reach through, grab it, hop and turn and we're gonna repeat the whole thing. I'm gonna do it on the mat, back and forth, okay? You do it, if you've got room to travel, you do it. But this one I want you to be able to see. So I'm gonna stay right here so you can follow me because there's a lot of moves. So hit your stopwatch, raise that up. Whoops, not all the way, hop forward. Hold it up, one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it, drop it, hop forward, one, two, three. Hop and turn. Let's do it again. Here's two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hold it. Hop over it. One, two, three. Hop back. And repeat. Here's three. One, three, four, five, six. One, two, three. Here's four. One, three, five, six. One, two, three. Three, five, six. The 
This one's six. Last one. dive bombers. Let me set up the menu. 10 second rest, 30 second work. We're moving. If you need to take breaks, you stop and take your breaks. Okay? You do what you can, what feels comfortable for you. I'm going to put this this way for now for the mountain climbers. Don't really need it for that. Again, Three rounds, four exercises. Down we go. Keep that back flat. Back is flat. If it gets to be too much and you just want to hold in that plank position, you do that. You take breaks when you need to. Left side. Right legs out for support. Stagger those feet. Crunch that left leg up to the elbow. As you crunch in, contract the abs. This is one round. We have two more. Work at your comfortable pace. Woo. Dive bombers are next. If you can't do dive bombers and you want to do push-ups on your knees, you do push-ups on your knees. Otherwise, you are in a pipe position. We come down and through and push back up. Two. Hands are by your chest. Three. Line up with your shoulders. Four. 
five. I am sweating. Six. to the mountain climbers. I'm going to fold this over and keep it there. It should be out of the way. Woo! show you looks like this see it hurts my elbow Next, I'll show you push-ups on your knees if you can't do the dive bombers. If you're a beginner, they're pretty tough. So, if you're a beginner, I'm going to show you on the break here. You come down onto your knees. Keep your knees behind your butt, okay? If you're not a beginner and you want to do dive bombers, do them with me now. Two. Ooh. Three. Four. You're not letting that stomach sag, are you? You're holding that core in tight as you do these, right? Five. Your stomach should be hollowed out when you go up into the pipe position. Whew. Mountain climbers are next. Show you the bicycle on this side. You'd be down on your hips and you come in and back out, in and out, crunch in and out. Gradually you'll work to that plank. From here you'll go to your elbow and then up to your hand. You work at your level, but concentrate on contracting that left oblique. Dive bombers are next. Dive bombers are push-ups. 
Get into that pipe position. Hands are shoulder width and under the chest. Hold that stomach in. Dive under and back up. Dive under and back up. Oh. 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 Woo. Okay. I need to wipe the sweat. Alrighty. Now, if you've been following me, you've seen the kettlebell moves with the walking lunges. We're not walking today. We are going to do a kettlebell swing. And we're going to hold it over our head and we're going to do a reverse lunge right and a reverse lunge left then we're going to plant our feet and do a swing so that'll be one repetition swing lunge right and left and then when you swing again it'll be two okay we're doing ten of these but right and left are one if you can't hold your kettlebell up Leave it on the, leave it down, leave it at your chest, leave it at the floor, but do your lunges. Okay, we're going to a stopwatch. Are you ready? I'm gonna wipe my hands so that I can hold this and not drop it on my head. We're doing 10 of these. Um, I'll stand to the side so you can see. So, swing it up and hold it. Lunge back right. Lunge back left, that's one, two, three, hold it up there, engage that core, four, five, seconds. We are doing a plie squat where you're going to step your feet together. Okay? Then we are doing a plie squat pulse where you're going to hold them out and pulse down. Curtsy lunge. You are going to squat, lunge back. Squat, lunge back. It's a crossover lunge. You're going to step behind the other leg. And then a goblet squat. You're going to hold that weight. Feet shoulder width apart. Drop it as low as you can go. Keep that chest lifted, those, that core tight. Press through the heels as you come up. There are the four. Three rounds. I'm going to use my bag for the step together plies. Probably the pulse too. 30 pounds. You use what you want to use. If you don't want to use weight, don't use weight. One. Drop. Drop so that your legs are parallel to the floor, your hamstrings. As you come up and bring those feet together, squeeze those butt cheeks. Now you hold them out and you're going to pulse squat, plie. So you're going to stay low and you're going to pulse down here. 
Okay. Your legs should be burning. Mine are. Oh, dropping this. Okay, squat, and then you're gonna step and do a crossover lunge. Squat and a lunge. Squat, lunge back. Squat, lunge back. Goblet squat is next. Grab that weight if you want to wait. Hold it in your hands at your chest. Drop it low. Elbows come between the knees. Press through the heels to come up. burn. Curtsy lunge. Squat and then a reverse crossover lunge. Squat, lunge back. Squat, lunge back. Lunge back. Squat, lunge back. Squats are next. If you don't want to do a weight and you want to focus on going low, you can hold your hands at your chest. Toes are wide. Squat down and drop that butt between the legs. Or drop that butt to the floor. Elbows between the legs. <sighs> Press through the heels to come up. You can hold it in a prisoner as well. But this way you'll remember to hold the stomach in. And if you're holding a weight here, your elbows will drop between the knees so that you can go further. One more, I'm gonna push myself with the sandbag. Step together and squeeze that butt. Contract the abs, hold that weight up, hold that chest up, keep that back straight like there's a bar running up and down your spine. 
it won't let you go forward, okay? Don't lean over. If that means you can't go as low, don't go as low. You'll get to it. Keep those toes on a 45, point it out, drop it down, pulse. Two. If they start to get tired, stand up and take a break, okay? Work through it. I don't want you to experience pain, but I do want you to feel those muscles burning. Oh, mine are burning. Oh, concentrate on keeping that weight in the heels. Okay, curtsy lunge and then goblet squat. Lunge back. And as you cross that leg behind you, you are working that cut, the minimus, the gluteus minimus, as you squeeze and drop that leg, that knee towards the floor. Okay? You should get that nice side crease in the glutes. Oh, goblet squat. I'm gonna use my kettlebell. Hold it at your chest, toes are out. Press through the heels to come up. If you need to, slip a plate or something under those toes so you don't roll forward on the toes, but you keep the weight in the heels and press through those heels and the glutes to come up. Woo. That was your 30 minute workout. Your four exercises three times through was eight, eight minutes. That's 24. We did a minute, a minute, and then three minutes. So we did almost 30 minutes. If you have the time and you want to do this again, you can repeat this again. It makes for a great 30 minute workout though. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad to be back. Like I said, I hope I have her stamina and her wit. Uh, Anne Mary's her name. She turned 91 on Friday. I hope I am not with it. And she went from with me from the time we got up in the morning until we, we had to send her to bed at 1030 because she talked and talked, which is awesome. But uh, it was awesome. Let's stretch out real quick. We really worked the quads. Uh, I'm going to have you do the pigeon. It is a moving yoga and it feels so good. So what you're going to do, get in your downward dog position. Okay. Swing that right leg up. You're gonna bring it forward, bring your knee forward to where your right knee is at your wrist, your right wrist, and lay it on the ground. Lay that left leg back, and then walk your chest out over that knee. Now, the further out you go like this, the more, it, it, you're more flexible that way, the more of a stretch you're gonna feel. If that's too much for you, keep that knee, keep that foot back by your pelvis, and that knee up, and walk out. Lower that chest over the knee so that your head is on the floor. You should feel a stretch in that right hip. I'm gonna turn, don't move. I'm gonna turn so you can see. You should feel it here. And when your leg is out, you'll also feel it in the hamstring when you lean forward a nice, and a nice pull down the outer part of the leg. So lean over, drop that head to the floor. Okay, come back up, stay here a minute. You're gonna bring that left leg around. The left leg is gonna go out in front and the right leg is gonna cross over. You're gonna take your right elbow and bring it around. You're gonna bring your left arm back. So you're pressing on that right knee so that you're stretching out the hip, but you're twisting and you're getting the obliques, the waist on the right side. 
try and look down at your hand on the floor. If you can walk it back and twist further, you're gonna feel a nice stretch in the chest and in the back as well, along your spine, okay? The spina recta muscles. Okay. And you're gonna release it. You're gonna take this right leg and you're gonna tuck it back for a runner stretch. You're gonna feel a stretch in the quadricep. Now, as you lower back onto your elbows or onto your back, you'll feel it in the hip flexor as well. These buggers get tight because of everything that we do. When they're super tight, they cause us to roll forward and we can't hold ourselves up. So the best thing you can do for yourself is to stretch out those hip flexors. If this hurts your knee, you would come up to a runner's lunge and you would take that right leg. It will be back behind your glute and you will come forward so that you're pressing that hip towards the wall or your left foot but you want your knee lined up with your ankle. You want your knee behind your hip, not under it. You will put too much pressure on your kneecap. You should not feel any strain in your legs at this point, in your knees, in your joints. You can do either one, runner's stretch on the ground or a runner's lunge. Okay, now, while we're here, if you're on the floor, if you're down here, you'll swing that leg around, okay? If you're up, you'll just bring both feet forward. You're gonna walk them back, and we are gonna do the left leg. So the left leg goes up. Look for that left elbow or that left wrist. Come forward and drop that leg. Like I said, the further out you go, the more of a stretch you're gonna feel in the hamstrings as well. Make sure you hold the abdominals in as you drop forward. Keep that core engaged. Don't let everything hang out. Concentrate on training your abs to stay in, your core to stay tight. Concentrate on holding them tight and it'll become second nature. I love this stretch. This is one of my favorite stretches in yoga. And come up. Now, Swing that right leg forward so that it's straight. Cross that left leg over. Elbow goes to the outside of the knee. Left hand goes back. You're sitting straight up and you're looking towards the left hand. If you can walk it further and twist further, you do that, but engage the core. Feel the stretch in the obliques on the left side. and release it and come around. Bring, either bring the left leg back into a runner stretch and lean back. Feel that stretch in the hip flexor. Some people are really good and they can do both of them. I, I can't go all the way to the floor. They do that in yoga, I can't do that, but they would, it would look like this. You would be sitting with your legs like this and you drop back so you can feel that stretch in the hip flexors. Or if this hurts your knees, come up into the runner's lunge, left leg again, left leg's going back, you want it behind the hip, and you're going to come up and lean into the right leg and feel that stretch in the left hip flexor, open it up. And release it. Come into a seated position. Put those feet together. Pull the heels in and feel the stretch in the inner thigh. And if you want to, you can press down with your elbows. Or if you can press them down, press them down. You should feel a stretch in the inner thighs and in the groin. Make sure you're holding your stomach in, okay? Hold that core tight. And release it. Bring the legs forward. Come grab those toes. Abs are tight. Head to the shins. Okay, don't round it. Keep that back straight. Lean forward and feel a nice stretch in the back.
This would be the equivalent of standing up and doing it where they wrap their hands around their legs and pull their heads towards their knees. You can stay seated or you can stand and do it. And release it. That's it. I hope you had a good workout. Have a great day. And I will see you soon.